This video will help you understand abundant, deficient, and perfect numbers. In order to understand abundant, deficient, and perfect numbers, you first have to know how to find the factors of a number. So let's take a number like 12. I need to know what factors are part of 12. So I know that I can multiply 1 and 12, and that will give me a product of 12. I also know that I can multiply 2 and 6, and that gives me a product of 12. Finally, I know I can multiply 3 and 4, and that also gives me a product of 12. So all of the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. For the purposes of finding abundant, deficient, or perfect numbers, however, we need to look at something called proper factors. Proper factors are all of the factors except for the number itself. So in the case of 12, all of my proper factors would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, but not 12. Now let's talk about what makes an abundant number abundant. For this example, I'm going to use the number 20. I need to list all of the factors of 20. So in this case, that would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now I need to look at just the proper factors. So that would be everything but the 20. Next, I have to add together all of my proper factors. So I'm going to add 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 10. When I do that, the sum of those factors is 22. Because 22 is greater than my number, 20, that means that the number is abundant. So 20 is an abundant number. Let's look at deficient numbers next. For deficient numbers, we'll use the example of 10. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And the proper factors are 1, 2, and 5. So I need to add those three numbers together, which gives me a sum of 8. Because 8 is less than my original number 10, that means that 10 is a deficient number because the sum of its proper factors are less than the number itself. Finally, let's look at what makes a perfect number perfect. We'll use the example of 6, which is actually the smallest perfect number. There aren't many perfect numbers out there, so you'll have to see if you can think of some others. For 6, our factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the proper factors are 1, 2, and 3. So when I add my three factors together, I get a sum of 6. Well, 6 is equal to 6, and because of that, that makes 6 a perfect number.